We're here at Sebring and we had to come by the Zenith space because there's something going on here. It appears they're taking parts and making bigger parts out of them. What's going on here? I'm Dan Johnson talking to Roger Dupert who knows all about this endeavor. What's going on here, Roger? Well, we, we're putting on a rudder workshop. Uh, back at the factory, we have a rudder workshop once a month. It's a two-day course. You build a rudder and you learn all the ins and outs on how to build the, the, the airplane from the rudder. So we brought the rudder workshop to the Sebring show this year. Very cool, and it looks like you got quite a bit of participation going on here. There's quite a little buzz of activity even times I've passed by it. Oh yes, we're building seven rudders today. Uh, we're building the 750 Cruiser, 750 Stoll, 701, and the 650 rudder. And who is we doing this? Are these just people who walk up and say, I'd like to try, or do they pre-register? Because you do this at other shows, and that's what we're trying to identify for you here as well. Can people be part of this? Uh, we had a pre-registration because we had to ship all the rudder parts and everything. And they so had you had to, to know how many people exactly. were coming. I see, okay. But okay, so how, so how does someone do that? Now, they already did it for this show, but the next time you go do this, how do they go about saying, hey, I'd like to be part of that, what I saw in that video? Well, this has been an excellent, a big success for us, so I know we're going to do it at other shows. Just go on our website, uh, follow us, or give us a call at the factory, and you can sign up uh, you know, for the next show. Okay, and where's the next one? New? Well, we're in 2017 here. Where do you anticipate doing it? What you know? Um, what you know now, Roger? I would predict maybe Sun and Fun, but I would say the next show we we'll do the rudder workshop would we'll probably be Mount and Burn. It's a smaller show, just like Sebring. Okay. And uh, it's a good time to do the rudder workshop. That's in September, one of our favorite shows. Oh, yes. We always do some good stuff there. That's near St. Louis, Illinois. For those that don't already know, it's a good place to go early September. So that's one at least in the future, and they can find out more on the website. Exactly. Okay. So, can you really learn? I mean. A rudder's a fairly simple piece relative to the whole airplane. Can you learn anything good from that, and what do you learn? Well, the rudder is the same example as building the wing. You still have the spar, you still have the ribs, and you still have the skin. The advantage to the rudder is it's just not such a big section like the wing that you need, you know, a 12-foot table. All you need is a, you know, a 4x4 four four or a 4x6 four table. Yeah, you basically uh, didn't take a whole lot to put a bunch of tables together here for people to do this, I'm guessing, and, and that's enough to do the whole rudder on oh, it. Oh, definitely, yes. Now, how long does it take and how many people are working at doing one rudder? Well, one rudder is uh, typically one customer, but okay. most of the time he'll bring his wife or his kids to help along building the rudder. And most of the time it takes, you know, 10 to 12 hours to finish a rudder from start to finish. Okay, you know, so we'll in take a couple of days, like you said. Then. Right, and we'll take them for a demo flight and we'll chat and we'll discuss the airplanes too in the meantime. So after that they could go, well, all right, I wasn't sure if I could build an airplane, but now that I've done this, are they going to say, now that doesn't address things like wiring and painting and other right. skills that are needed, but is it enough to give them a clue about their ability and an average person's ability to build an airplane? Definitely, definitely. You really learn hands-on because we are not building the rudder for them. The customers are hands-on building that rudder 100%, so they'll know when they leave the workshop that they can complete and finish the rudder. All right, so they're doing it all themselves. These people that I see working right now, these are some examples of... Yes. These are not staged people out of your factory. Oh, no. already know this cold. These are people that are going, okay, let's see, how do I do this here? And if they have a question, we're right here to jump in and help them and show them different techniques, a little shortcuts and, and how to read the manual, read the blueprints and uh, finish that rudder to start building either the rest of the tail or maybe even the wing section. So let's say I signed up here and I went, okay, I, I want to do this. Um, do you start off with a little orientation first, or do you just say, here's some parts, call us when you need us, or how does it work? Um, we do have an orientation the first day, which was yesterday morning, and everybody you know, explains who they are, where they're from, and then we go uh, explain a little bit about the rudder, the tools, basic tools, and then we just say, hey, jump in, open the manual, and start pulling parts and drilling. Now I see a gentleman right here, looks like he's sort of finishing the edge with a tool. Did he have to bring that tool or did you supply all those things for we them? We supply all the tools and that's so what we do. So they just the, show up. Exactly. Then. It makes it a lot easier and most of the tools that we're using here, we do sell as a tool package back ah, at our factory. Okay, okay. So they don't have to go out and source these things by themselves, although I'm sure they're just standard tools. But right. you know, the one he's got in his hand, I'm not familiar with, so that's one to, uh, to refine that edge a little bit. Correct. It's okay. called an edge deburring tool. Okay. There you go. So And so whatever tools they need, and I see a lot of clecos. That's for people that don't know what they are. That's the little, the little pieces that are sticking up out of that rudder right there. What do they do? What's their purpose for those that don't know that? They're a temporary fastener. So what you do is you're going to drill your hole first, and then you're going to cleco with the proper, proper size cleco for whatever hole you're drilling. And then you're going to take that section apart to deburr it, re cleco and then you can start riveting it. Okay, and the drilling in the first place. I don't see jigs and things that say how to drill it. How does one know how to do that? 
Well, that's nice. I'd be nervous about making that first drill into a brand new part and go, what if it's not the right hole? Now I got a hole in a part that I don't need. And that is very hard to start these guys. You know, the first hour until they drill that first hole is very challenging. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's the nice thing about our airplanes. You, all you need is a nice flat table. There's no special jigs, fixtures, anything that you need to finish the airplane. I don't, yeah, I don't see any of those parts. So are they laying out a paper on top of it or how do they make that first hole? It makes them a little nervous. Well, uh, they're just uh, drilling uh, the skeleton, the rib to the skeleton on the, the workbench. And uh, you know, there's no templates or anything and they don't need the paper to keep it all clean. Okay, and, uh, great. So a couple of days, these folks will, uh, will they go home with their runners? Uh, yes. Uh, so most they're going to our... own a rudder when they're done exactly. too. Exactly. Huh? Most okay. of our customers are here are from Florida, so they'll take their rudder home. We do have a few. We have one gentleman who brought his family from Argentina, oh, wow. and uh, definitely he can't take his rudder back on the airline, <laughs> so we'll take it back with us and we'll ship it either with the rest I of the see. kit okay. or something so like that. So people can come from anywhere in the world or anywhere in the country to one of these events that you'll have, mm -hmm. and if they can't manage to get the part home, because when they're done, a rudder may not look that big until you actually have one in your hands and then exactly. they get kind of large so you couldn't just take that on the airline with you right they'd probably give you kind of a wrong look there i'm <laughs> thinking so excellent stuff okay let's go back then to the website and how people can find out that and you said they can call too so give us both a website and a phone number roger we'll put it up on the screen for folks okay well you can either call the factory which is 573-581-9000 or you can go on our website which is zenithair.com and we do have another website a zenith arrow that we have a lot of information on there too Okay, and they can find out there, there'll be an easy way to get to where they find out about, I want to participate in one of these wherever you do it next, if it's convenient to me, how can I find that out? That's where they can go. Exactly. Great stuff. A lot of information about Zenith Aircraft and Zen Air and the whole brand of uh, airplanes that came out of the fertile mind of Chris Heinz many years ago. Uh, you can find all that on bydanjohnson.com along with lots of other affordable aviation. Thanks for joining Roger Dupert of Zenith and myself here at Sebring.